Hey everyone, uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, I'm going to make this a quick video and kind of uh, go over a quick case mod I'm going to attempt. Um, this is going to be the third video of me using this case. This is pretty much my daily driver. I don't foresee, uh, you know, getting a new computer in the next couple years. This guy's running fine for me. So, if you watched the two previous videos, which I'll have links in the description, um, I go over the entire case, the uh, Apevia x -Pack, uh 3 cube case uh, dealio here. Nice case. My main beef was just um, how well it breathes or how well it doesn't breathe. And my bigger problem, because I'm not using like a, a full body GPU that runs out to here and like forces the air out, um, it's it's a face mounted one. So there's not a lot of depth here at all. Like it, I might have from, I guess like here to here, um, maybe like an inch and three quarters. I'd like a little more airflow. And with this case, um, like I said, it's it's virtually toolless. This really just mounts up like that. You kind of get the idea, you know, like that. There's these little um, like thumb push in plastic flare pin things uh, that hold it in. Um, they're mounted on the back. Like if you take a look into their side, like it's this guy. This guy goes into that guy and then it looks like this guy but what that does is it just holds it in and you can from like the back I just popped it out and um, that was that what we're going to do is now that I have this off I'm going to use this as a template because I've been running my computer with like the whole side panel off and it's just getting dusty and dirty and full of crap uh, but I'm trying to just prevent overheating because uh, I need to get another fan but what I'm going to do to try to negate that is use this as a template. I have some plexiglass. You know, you can always find some plexiglass. You can go get uh, if you want to kind of you know cut down on aesthetics. Uh, even some like HDF, uh, like like a thin thin pair uh, piece of fiberboard. Um, you really just need to, or what I'm going to do is when this is mocked up where the fans are, I'm going to just drill out like a hole there and there, um, and put some screen behind it so I don't uh, you know suck up like any more unnecessary dirt and what I'm gonna do there is you know it's just gonna have that much more airflow so it's going to be you know cooling the GPU that much better instead of recirculating like the kind of cool air it's going to be um, like sucking in right through there and then out uh, or I guess even up because I do have the exhaust fan on the top that's what I'm hoping and that's going to be a super easy uh, next video. The only thing is just time constraints. Um, I do have plexiglass laying around so I'm going to work on that. I got two days off coming up so I'm going to try to cut that. Um, but anyone that has this case and wants to try it, you know, go ahead. This is a super easy mod. I'm going to have a part two hopefully in the next week. Like I said, uh, I don't have a lot of time. But I would like to follow up because I think this is going to help with the computer. Um, that way I can kind of watch temperatures. Um, I use the uh, like the proprietary Firestorm app that lets you monitor temp and everything. So I'm going to do some runs and I'll uh, check it out like that and I'll get back to you. So uh, fast video is going to be under four minutes. Uh, I hope you liked this video. I hope you understood it. And uh, I hope you watched the two previous videos because that's really going to help you um, understand why I'm doing this. So thanks for watching. I hope you watch the other two and I look forward to hearing back from you.